this one on. We have a few coming on, love. Yeah. Oh. I'm only going to um, yes. stay on for a couple of minutes anyway, just get this out and then yeah, uh, I'm going to go and start the pop out. Yeah, you can It certainly is, Bobby. I think it's good. Uh, the, the, the right. <laughs> yeah, it was swap seats, Bobby, because I'm going to go and sort the pup out and sort the house out because we'll um, we'll do going to do a live tomorrow. I'll see, but we haven't uh, uh, addressed this situation first. So I'm just going to quickly say what I've got to say, and then I'm going to leave you with Brian. And he's going to say his piece, and then we'll do a live tomorrow. Right, so after more ludicrous allegations and insinuations of Darren J, he's done this numerous times to us. He's called me names, Brian's names, numerous times, and we've just blanked him. Um, but what Darren doesn't realise is, I lived in Liverpool for a lot of years, and I knew some serious players. Um, when this, when he first came out of jail and he first was starting to make a noise, I asked somebody about him who was, at the time, doing 18 years in prison. So I've put on this, these are the messages I've got. So I've got, who's Darren G? Um, and he's put, um, he's just some crank why. So I put, he's just done a podcast with James English saying he was the biggest G in Liverpool. Um, he said, I've seen it. So this is my friend who's in prison. Um, hold on, two sex. So he said, I've seen it. Uh, I said, he sounds a bit like a crank, Tony. He said he used to be a good lad, but he's finished now. Had a nervous breakdown because all the kids are trying to kill him. Um, but I said, so why doesn't he just be quiet and keep his head down then? He said he gave evidence against someone and got them life and that was him finished. I went, you're joking, aren't you? And he's shouting about stuff on the internet. It's crazy. He went, no, but he's even more dangerous now because he's broadcasting everyone's business over social media and getting people on licence recall back to prison. Do not follow him on any of his sites. And I'm telling you, he's a rat. So I won't, I won't, I said, I'm not going to, I was just subscribed to James English and I'd seen it. So he's a, he's an absolute wrong and I was told, and that's by a serious, How serious player. That was in April 2020, and that was by someone really, really respected, a massive name in Liverpool, who told me that. I said he couldn't even go into the city because the kids are trying to kill him. It goes on and on and on and on. So I said to Brian, oh, look, I've received this, and obviously he knows I respected the lad it's. Yeah. And uh, he, he, we've always kept away from him, but we've never, ever broadcasted those, those texts or never, ever spoke about him because we don't feel the need to because... He's totally irrelevant to us. But for some reason, he seems to need to call Brian terrible things. He even calls me terrible things. And it's just like, and now we're just going to have to, like, respond. But I know all about you, Darren. And I know people that know all about you. Right? So don't forget. Can't even like, go to Liverpool. Kind of. Can't even go to Liverpool because the kids in the North no, End yeah. are, want to do me. There's that many people got got thingies on his head, but he just can't go to Liverpool at all. He's a fucking crank, and that's what he is. I've never had that swear, man. Yeah, I've don't never had that No, I've never. Right, so I'll so, see you all tomorrow. Right, Mr G, you coming to my house to shoot me, are you? Well, I've been looking for you and I can't find you. Well, let me just tell you about you, Mr G. You got out of jail and you started sounding all right. You're going to help people, put down the knife, and whatever the knife campaign. And you went on Sean Atwood's. Sean gave you a platform there. Give you a good platform. You went on. You had my book. You used my book with the so-called author from Stokesley. You put my name. You stood there. Brian Crockett, I'm reading this, blah, blah, blah. Fair deals, right? Then you went on and said you were going to put down your knife. And when I listened to you, I thought, brilliant. What a knowledgeable young man he's going to do well here. Helping kids going to go into schools. And the next minute, the real Darren come on, didn't it? The real Darren come on. You can only have that mask for so long when, you, when you're insanity. Because you are clinically insane you will get sectioned the next time you get do anything you'll go to jail for the rest of your life you will be sectioned if you've got mental health issues i'm a mental care worker for five years and i know this um when you went on and you said after that you said if you start me i'm going to come to your house i'll kill all your kids kill your kids seriously 
I'll shoot all your kids in front of you, then I'll shoot you, and then I'll have a shoot out of the police, and I'll go out and I think you have glory. Seriously, shoot little kids in front of the mums and dads. Do you think that's good? So for all you kids who follow him, please don't follow this man because he is mentally insane. He definitely needs sectioning. These are just some of the people. He said when he went on the show, Sean helped him, got him a camera and everything, helped him with uh, rent and everything, helped the man up, give him a leg up. And then he went, I'm bigger than you, Sean. Uh, Sean I went, I'm, I'm the best podcast in the country. You're only, you're only out a couple of weeks. Sean's 650,000 podcasters on there. Massive works seven days a week. Then you got another leg up on James English. James, brilliant lad. Come to my house, sat at this table. Lovely, lovely man. Give you another help. And what do you do to him? He's fucking this, he's fucking that. I'll fight you. So Sean, James, not, not a fighter. As you know, he's not. But he had the bottle. He offered you out. Trained to fight you. And what did you do? Pussy ass. Didn't turn up. Shit to yourself. Ben Hatchett. Called Ben Hatchett. Lovely young man. Brilliant kid. Calling him. Slagging him. He turned to fight you. You didn't drive in your BMW, which you'd think you would have a BMW the way you talk, or your big Range Rover. You rode off on a fucking kiddie's bike. A BMX, not a BMW you're running run around in. A kid's BMX. That's you on a kid's BMX with a black hat on. You look 15 year old, but when that hat fell off and you were taught the Ben, hat, uh, ben Span, I got the fright in my life. Please don't take that hat off. If you cut my house with that hat, you probably will give me the heart attack. But keep your hat on. But if you are coming to my house, it's 200 miles from Liverpool. So I suggest you go to the, the pound shop, get yourself a couple of punch outfits. You will get a punch on that 200 mile journey and get yourself a bike pump. Not even in Liverpool, is that like Oh, I did not live, sorry, not Liverpool. Yeah, wait, that's what he said. It's from yeah. Liverpool. He's coming back. Yeah, so he said he's 200 miles away if you go from Liverpool, he said today. Right. So you're supposed to be in Birmingham, whatever. When you ask the good people for that money of the month, you got 200 pounds, you went straight back to your bed sit. No disrespect to anyone in bed sits. And you've got to feel your eyes like that. I can tell. I am an ex I, You call me a crackhead. Yes, I was a crackhead. I've been off it for years. I know that. I, I admit to that. Put my hands up. Move on. But you can't, can you? you? You called Billy Moore. Billy Moore is one of the nicest people that you can ever, ever speak to. Lovely man with his brother Joe. Going around the city, helping hospitals, going on walks, putting money into schools, going around schools, helping people, doing good. Ben, Ben, Ben Span, he's helping people with the anti knife campaign. He got jealous of Ben. You were saying, Stephen French, he's helping kids. He know we've all done that things in the past. We put our hands up, all of us, all time, gangsters, whatever you want to call us, fighters. We put our hands up and said, Yeah, we're going to help people. We're going around schools. Me and my wife have saved 44 people from suicide. What have you done? All you do is going around slating people. Stephen Ray, calling Stephen Ray. Stephen, give you a platform. You're calling him. Everyone's a nonce. If I'm a nonce, right, how can I? Me and my wife went to five, four schools last year and, and spoke to hundreds of kids. Right? I'm not a fucking nonce. Never been nonce in my life. I'm not a bully either. And also, um, you know. I'm just having a look at the questions. Yeah, go on. It's uh, Stephen French as well. Yeah, Stephen yeah. French. Uh, great lad. He's um, helping people, talking. Stephen did nothing wrong. Called Stephen. said, me and Stephen were going out in parties in Liverpool. What a load of nonsense. I've been in the house for the year, yeah. Ben Span, I'm out partying with Ben Span. He's putting super, he's super impressed. Um, me, my head on other people's bodies, and I'm doing sex parties. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, just going on about absolute rubbish, just garbage. You talk. And now threatening to come to our house. Yeah, threatening to come to my house. Well, at my door was open. You want to come to my house, you stupid little boy? You come to my house, and I'll knock your fucking head clean off. You come to my house, bring your gun, bring what you want. I'm waiting for you. You know, I'm here. I'm, I'm in the house. I'm half paralysed, and I'll still destroy you in two seconds because you're not but a baghead. That's what you are, a little baghead grass. You grass that lad up. 33 years he got through you, you little snitch grass. That's what you are, police informer. And expose your TV. It's got nothing to do with me, but he is a great lad. He's a Christian. He's a friend of mine. I love him a bit, but he's nothing to do with me. Fine, can't even set his own YouTube up. Let him go to fucking Why do you one. think Emma keeps coming in, pushing buttons? And my hand's paralysed, but that left one will fucking still destroy you, you little rat. You look like Billy Casper. You won't know who Billy Casper is. Billy Casper was in a, series, a, a film called Kess. Little pigeon, pigeon chest you've got, and a little sparrow legs like that. Little, little sparrow legs. I'd slap you, and you'd end up the other end in, in Middlesbrough. But you'll come to my town, my hometown. I have a fucking army up here. 
an army and you won't be going home. No matter where you live, you won't be going home, I'm telling you. So you get on your fucking bike and on your bike because you are nothing but a smack rat. So, yeah, so go stick that in your pipe and fucking smoke it. Ass wipe. Come on.